If we tax it, would you support using tax money for support for drug rehabilitation facilities? And let's go in reverse order and start with uh, Mr. Feltis and work our way down this way. I don't think this is a short answer, but I, no. I, I, I was trying. I know. Would you, I, would you legalize recreational marijuana? Yes or no? I don't think you can answer it that way. I'm okay. Sorry. Here's okay. how All I right. answer this. I support. <laughs> I support the the proposition. However, we got to do what we did in decriminalization, which is work with the stakeholders, work with the people involved. That's how you have to work on it. Right now. I don't think it's been worked up to a point where uh, the stakeholders or New Hampshire uh, generally uh, is going to embrace any model right now. You got to work with people. That's legislative. And it's not ready for prime time right now. Do I support the concept? Yes. Do I, would I eventually support some piece of legislation? In all likelihood. But you got to do the work uh, to get it there. I think the last part of your question was where does the revenue go from taxing the sales? I think that's part of a question that has to be resolved as you develop the piece of legislation and, and working with stakeholders and working with law enforcement, working with advocates. Um, I don't think locking yourself into something uh, makes sense. And so, like I said, this is a really early stage. Um, it took a long time to even get decriminalization. It took a long time to get medical marijuana. And I've been a sponsor of a lot of those bills to try to move that forward to make sure people who are in pain get the kind of relief uh, that they, alternative relief that they can get as opposed to using opioids and getting addicted to opioids. Um, so it took a while. Uh, this is a long answer to your question, Liz. I apologize. It took a long time to make progress on these issues going to take a while to make something where people have buy-in and, and you can really work with people on. May, may I ask the incumbents, is there not a commission working on drafting legislation or some regulations for this right now? Am I correct? There's that? a That's correct, Liz. There's a commission right now that's looking at it. The commission, I, I don't believe in talking with the commission members, have uh, drafted legislation or endorsed a specific piece of legis legislation. They made some kind of general recommendations and some general findings. Uh, those general recommendations and findings right out of the gate has prompted a lot of opposition. That's what I'm talking about and how uh, it's going to have to work uh, in my view anyways. And that's my approach uh, is certainly like I said earlier, you don't get everything you want in a piece of legislation, but you got to work together with people. And right now, it took a long time to do medical marijuana, a long time to do decriminalization. We got there. We passed decriminalization uh, last year. We were able to get there, cobble together a bipartisan package. Um, and hopefully we'll get there in legalization, too. Okay, thank you for clarifying that for us. Ms. Ian, your position on recreational marijuana, taxing it, how to use revenue, if so? Well, I'm definitely in favor of um, of making it legal. Um, I know a lot of people are probably going to be surprised by that answer from me. Um, I've had people in my family that have died from um, alcohol. You know, they were alcoholics. I don't know one person that has died from using pot. So I don't look at it as being as dangerous as even alcohol, and I would never say, let's get rid of alcohol. We tried that, it doesn't work. Um, as far as taxing, I. I don't like to support tax. However, somebody pointed out to me that if we did tax it, if the government taxed it, it would do less harm to the person that's using it than if they got arrested for using it. So in that way, I might be able to uh, kind of squirm out of my answer if somebody says, well, you said you wouldn't vote for a tax. So, yes. Thank you. Ms. Wells, your position on recreational marijuana legalization? Um, I did vote for decriminalization. I did vote.